Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. We're gonna check the interior of the Subaru Forester 2017. So let's open the door. You're gonna see that there's been some change, some improvement, but yes, it's kind of sober in some kind of way. And it's kind of conservative. Yes, it doesn't feel like a 2017 vehicle when you look at that with all the plastic that you will find here. And yes, as you can see, just by rubbing my finger, you can see that there's some stain right there that are kind of hard to remove. So you will need to have a good cleaner. So hard plastic there, nice good handle, all the controls, two automated windows around here. They did a smoke crate to the fabrics that I, re I really like. Also right here, some cool leather with nice stitches on the side, some silver finish, seems like stainless and you've got some nice place there to put a lot of a water bottle that are quite big. So besides that, you've got a speaker and no, the radio is not that good. Well, it's kind of average. Once again, some improvement have been done, but uh, it's, it's not the force of Subaru right now. You could have a better equipped Forester with a much better sound system, but right now this is probably the version that mostly uh, a lot of people will buy. So we might as well take a look at it. So when you look at the finish, not too bad. Kind of soft material, but back to hard plastic down there. So this is also 6.2 inches display that you will have right here. So let's start on the left, but before that, so as you can see the key, well, it's a regular key, so it's not an intelligent one. And uh, the fact with those keys, which is interesting, well, you don't have to have a remote because right there, including in the head of the key, you've got all the command that you need to lock or unlock or open the trunk. So back to old school days, that needle work and Subaru starting inscription. And you've got also a screen right up there, which is gonna display some information for you. So let's turn on the light to give you that nice uh, red Subaru style. So here on the left, what you have traction control, the button is just right there. You've got also the brightness system that you can adjust. And uh, right there on the side, also the possibility to adjust your steering wheel. You don't have any uh, place to, to, to put something. This is only the fuse access down there. And remember, if you want to open also your gas cap, you have to open the door and this is right there where you're gonna be able to access it with also the opening of your hood. You've got many adjustments also on the seat, electrical adjustment. So regular display uh, right there in the middle, that LCD screen, well, it reminds me of once again, the 1990s or 2000 year, but hey, it's simple, but effective. So you don't have uh, any, you know, big screen or a thing that's gonna broke over time, this is really reliable. So lights, auto feature between uh, night and day. And yes, you've got some sport shift paddles right there that are hiding. So you will be able to shift the gears in manual mode. So right now, right here, the volume of your radio can be accessed through here. You can mute or unmute. And talking about the radio, well, if you go for a better equip, a version of that Forester, you're gonna see that uh, the sound system will be much better. So let's go into source, let's put Sirius XM. You know, I like the channel, but hey, this is not my regular channel. So how do I change that? This is a good question. So I can use once again the button to simply roll down the channel, or I could go through my different favorite and also be able to access via a list right here what, uh, what I want. So if I press this, I'm gonna have to let it time to react. When I press the star, you can see all the favorite channel that I choose. So right now let's play electric area or yes, my good old BPM and turn up the volume. So be careful, too much bass, too bad. You can feel the distortion. So improvement to the sound system, but a not, uh, not, uh, not too good. So right there, the volume, next track, mute. And when you press right here, you're gonna access the menu of, of the radio showing you every option possible uh, with a favorite or other. So it's gonna be the same thing. So you can access all the, the menu of the radio by pressing right here on the side. So it's more quick if you want. Change the source, the voice command. Please say a command. FM radio. Changing to FM mode. 
it's kind of slow, but hey, it reacted to my voice command. So the phone menu, if you press there, uh, you're gonna access your incoming calls, outgoing calls, depending on what you want. And right now my, my, my phone is configured. So uh, as you can see, it did not import it what I have and uh, I need to press the download contact right there, yes. And it will need to take some time to download every contact possible inside my phone to the radio right now. So let's skip that part. So this is probably the thing that you're gonna do at least once. And you've got also access to your dial pad if you want to dial a number just with your finger. So cruise control is right here, reset, uh, cancel, set, and everything like that. And also look at the steering wheel, not too bad, not too crowded also, but this material is kind of hard. And yes, it will get cold in the winter. Other than that, you've got an enter button right here that you can choose to uh, select the display right here. So if you change, this is gonna be your average fuel consumption. This is gonna be your, uh, once again, another display for uh, the remaining fuel that you have in the car for the kilometers. And you have your clock and you can also enter the different settings. So if I press here and all enter, I can go in time and date, display, screen setting, maintenance, uh, car setting, and I can choose different thing that I want. So the keyless buzzer volume. Ah, oh, this is why it's so loud. Let's put it to the top. Setting complete. Man, the next one just gonna forget the key. Uh, is <laughs> he will wake up? That's for sure. So driving history, same thing here. You can select a uh, uh, set those driving history and have some kind of registry if you want. So let's go back. Uh, clock, the display, the average, uh, the also, okay. This is one of my favorite, most useless probably display that I can have. So this is where it's gonna display you uh, the power which is sent to the wheel, but you don't see any percentage. And right down there, the zero between 32nd March is gonna be when your stability system and traction system will be working. So the only thing that you will see is a resume of how much again it, it corrected. And it's kind of hard to really justify what's in that menu. So next time, please put me a good off-road menu on this one. So let's press the home button. You've got some apps turning, haha, <laughs> Pandora. Are you using those, haha, <laughs> and Pandora? If yes, well, feel free to comment in the section down below and tell us why. Super stalling, same thing. I need to upload some data on my phone. And right now I doesn't feel like it. So it's kind of a little small screen, easy access. Uh, so it's, it's kind of made LCD for the display, so it will not really reflect the sun. So this is not too bad. Other than that, climatization system is right down here. And the only thing that I'm not sure to like is that little right there display on the top, it will be the one telling me where I'm located. So let's say that I'm in two. So if I'm driving, you know, I'm looking from, from here. And as you can see, it's not that obvious to say, okay, I wasn't positioned two. So I need to turn it. Same thing for the temperature. So it's kind of sad in some kind of way. So besides that, you're gonna see that it's quite powerful though when you put it into the maximum setting. Down there, some, um, some lights, some, you know, little bit of LED lights. You've got also your 12 watt outlets, which is hiding right here. And you've got a nice and easy access to some storage compartment. X mode is down there since we have a CVT version and also our heated seat so that you can turn on or off. And when you press X mode, you're gonna see that big X mode display right here. And you will also see right there, the display of a little Forester with some bumps under its wheel. So we've got a CVT transmission. We have also a manual mode that you can shift in. And when you're gonna be shifting in manual mode, you can see the one. And if you use your paddle shift, you will see the different gear that you're on. So a good old style handle brake. This is uh, just perfect. And when I move on the side right here, you can see some cup holders, two cup holders, which are gonna be able to have nice size bottle. Right there, the glove box. Also up there, as you can see your sun, sun visor. Mirror, no lights though. And if you want to extend, well, you just pull right here. Uh, halogen lights for the inside of the car, the button, and also where you're gonna be able to put your glasses. The only thing different for the driver's side is that little strap right here. So if you want to hold documents in place, this is gonna be perfect for. So why not go for a little rev? Oh, let's put back the car in park mode.
2.5 liter, 170 horsepower. A little bit shaky. And it won't go over 4,000 RPM. But still, let's go through here. So right there, we've got a nice armrest, but it's never going to lock in place. So it's free. Same thing also when you're going to open. There's no locking mechanism. But here, little storage and it's going to be there that you're, you will have your USB connector and auxiliary input. So if you want to put your coins, well, feel free to do so in that section. So two things that I will need to do is open the lid for later and if you want to open your gas tank, it's right here and all the control for your seats. So let's look at the exterior. Whoops, seats were folded. Sorry guys. We did it with a previous video. Well, they're not AV, that's kind of cool. So you've got that section right there that you can lower that will give you access to uh, cup holders. And you've got nice storage place, nice passenger's place. So even for the head, look at that. This is major, the space that you will have in that, that Forester. So nice finish also right here in the door. If you want to pull down the seat, you can go for it. Let's go to the rear, I'm gonna open that for you. And I will pull that to show you. Yes, thank <laughs> To show you how it is when it's all down, all seats are folded. And yes, it's major space, kind of cool. So right there is some hook. You've got also a 12 volt outlet right there. Another place there to tie something. You've got also that nice Thing that you can pull, well, you need to pull it at least straight and there you go. So you will be able to hide your cargo. And when I look under that nice mat of Subaru, this is so cool, it will all thing in place. So you've got easy access to a foam, all your tools, and if you lift that foam, well, there you go, your space tire. So your space tire is really low, so it will not intrude into the cargo place that you need in the truck usually. So if you want to open the hood, it's already been done. So you take your hand right there on the logo. Nice chuck. 2.5 liter, as I said before. Nice big battery right here. So the, the, the oil filter is right there on top. Also, the oil access, easy access for the washer fluid. And also, if you want to check your oil, easy once again, same thing for the air filter. So if you like to do your own little maintenance, well, it's going to be easy on that one. So there you go, guys. If you want to see the complete uh, exterior of uh, the Forester, well, you can check on the playlist that we did for you. It's going to be the same thing for the rolling video. But right now, what I want to know, how do you like the interior of that Forester? Will it suit your family? Will it suit your SUV need? feel free to comment in the section down there below. And also, if you like that video, well, subscribe to Car Question because we're gonna have more for you. And don't forget the thumbs up, guys. So see you later.